Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is part four of the Borderlands video. Uh, you're, you've missed about two minutes of gameplay. I killed like four of the little hey. crag things. Uh, there were some technical difficulties. I got interrupted. Nothing really exciting has happened. So uh, I apologize for that, but it's all good. We're going to continue on. There's a quest up ahead, apparently. That's pretty exciting. Alrighty. It's going to happen here. Peapod needs some help finding his lost friend. Okay, let's help Peapod. Let's get some ammo and some money. Money, 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 money. Moon rocks. Oh, beautiful moon rocks. So supposedly there's a uh, a function in here where you can uh, grind up guns of a certain kind and uh, ooh moon rocks and and uh, you end up with a better gun. There we go. Ice damage is amazing. I always like ice damage. The explosive damage is just amazing, I have to say. It does just great things for you in, in general. His sleep is not with the living. Right. Well, see if he left tonight. Check her pockets, will ya? Hey, she left an echo. Maybe that'll tell us more about the sorry tale. What do you reckon? Oh, the things I've seen. I've <laughs> gone all, swear, about all the way to Barago Solitude. I've seen an enormous giant billabong. A giant empty billabong with bright purple light shooting out of it. And I heard the deafening silent prayers of an ancient people ringing out from the depths of it. I can't buy it. And I sang as I watched as my billy boiled. Then up leapt the jumbuck. I grabbed him with glee and I shoved him in me tucker bag. But then I returned from the distant land and I went and I lost it camp not far from here. Blasted Kragans attack me. Go find it, Peapot. Then you'll know I speak it the truth. Check your echo. I'm plumb tuckered out. Reckon I might oh, no. die now. <laughs> oh, so no. Like oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just wandering around for days, losing his mind. I'll never do the next thing. I'll never do I expect she'll get over it. Wonder where that tucker bag is. Then have a look around. See if you can find it. Jumba! Poor raving lunatic! 
Even if it's gonna gone as far as Arago Solitude, no one ever comes back from there without being a few slices shorter of a loaf. I'd never bloody go. Okay. That's that. Where does this one need us to go? Okay, so either way, we need to go that way. This is the way for us then. Clustering it up. Oh my goodness. I need new weapons. Oh, I'm so out of ammo. Um No, that's lasers. I don't I don't have lasers. That looks good. That gun. Cool. Hey. Ooh. That was ridiculous. Wait. We're totally switching that out. Seems like a reasonable move. Uh, how do we get back? Warning, oxygen levels at half. level up real quick here all right now next level we can start to get some interesting thing I think generate percentage of shields every second for each maelstrom you have that sounds like it'll be good who are you I don't matter I just found this the best mate in all the world sent it to me it's a tucker bag says there's a jumbuck inside <laughs> they don't even exist! Oh, oh it, it's a jumbuck. They do exist. I think it thinks I'm his mum. It's an idiot. I look nothing like him. 
Do you think that means there's really a billabong somewhere out there too? A giant empty billabong with bright purple light sitting out of it with the deafening silent prayers of an ancient people ringing out from the depths of it? <laughs> Thanks for the help, though. There's a lot of Australian in this game. Unless... There is a giant purple hole with light shooting out of it. Okay. Well. I reckon the little fella wants a drink. Warning. Oxygen levels at 50% and dropping. Let's fill up again real quick. Oh my goodness. Oxygen over here, that's for sure. Says so on the map. Nothing in there. Ammo in there. Perfect. I feel like I've done this before. Is this where I died? I think I died here last time. Yes. Oh man. 
losing my mind, apparently. I forgot that I already did this. It's magic, you know. Good. Okay, well. I, I, ooh, a chest. I do say that's a chest. Okay, well. I think I need to clear some inventory space. Got too much of the loots. Slam damage. Wow. Got all kinds of stuff on it. Okay, well. Neither of those is really picking up worth picking up, but at least I have space now. This is really weird deja vu. I feel like I've done this all before. Oh, 
this is a pretty awesome weapon, actually. Oxygen is good, oxygen is good, air is lots of oxygen, and oxygen is good. Let's buy some life. Shotgun, pistol. It's pretty good. That's a slightly better shield, I think. Class mod, grenade mod, cool. Yes, sirree. Better get some ammo scavenged. It's the moon. Just ate, but let's book it!
the signal. Alrighty. Shotgun. Just a never ending stream of things. I'm not wrong, I like the experience, but I want to be able to think here. Okay, well, apparently it's never ending, so we're just gonna try to get uh, the signal then. That's what we'll do. So. How do I get up there? Probably like this. for the best. Thank <laughs> you. 
Quite badass. Whew, alrighty. It's pretty amazing. Let's take a moment to check out our new awesome loot. So we got a ridiculous sniper rifle. Two ridiculous sniper rifles. Okay, well. Fire or lightning. Lightning is better for us, anyway, right now, because we need the shield killing power of that, yes. Okay, let's add the grenade mod, it's good, I think that's it for now. It's a pretty cool sniper rifle. Rocket Moon Buggy.
guards a stack of cash, so just walk on through security. Then come meet me when I fast travel down. Lock and load. Ooh, rocket launcher. Okay. We want to hold on to the purples, because the purples could potentially give us good stuff. The blues are good to hold on to, too. Greens, I think, we can get rid of. Your cash ain't worth a thing if you don't spend it. Oh, we have a skill point too, don't we? Hello, Concordia. I urge you to Let us spend our skill point. At least one electric stand your generate percentage of shield every second for each maelstrom. Or increase magazine size and reload speed. That seems like a good thing for us. Screw this. Let's go pay him a visit. Like I said, don't get trigger happy. If he's got info, I don't want to hear him gurgle it through blood. He has horrible diction to start with. The Marif's elevator is sealed, remember? That's just great. I do have a recording of the Marif talking sexy to Serena, the custom bot's favorite squeeze. Nah, that wouldn't work. Could we use that recording of the Marif talking to the Geisha bot? Maybe blackmail our way in? Yahtzee! Let's go find ourselves one soon-to-be outraged customs claptrap. Get that recording ready, Mox. Come back here! I am the law! The law doesn't make mistakes! Hey! Law bot! You've just interrupted an officer carrying out his duty! Uh, we're here to file a complaint. Your awesome merit's been breaking the law. We have evidence. Breaking the law? Why don't you tell me all about it? Thank you for your concern, citizen. Rest assured it shall be long. Long live the merit. Mox, hit it. Oh, blimey, you really know how to listen to a bloke's problems. I'll give you that. You sure I can't book you for more, uh, uh physical services? I'm a bloody stress volcano right now, and I can do with the, uh, with the, uh, relief. You know that's not what Geisha bots are programmed for. Serena, really? I'm your merit. You'd be doing Concordia Republic service. I'd make it worth your while. I'm swimming in dial money right now. <laughs> the merit's interfacing with my Serena? No! I feel so betrayed! And according to my records, the Merrick doesn't have the appropriate paperwork to engage in such activities, which kind of makes my outrage morally justifiable! Awesome! Hey, I'm with you, pal. Word is, he's got another appointment booked with Serena right now. What? Citizens, that was not. That may have sounded like my voice, but I, 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 I've been impersonated by someone who sounds like me. I, I, I appreciate you allowing me privacy. This man has no shred of honor. This guy's so busted. Without an inter-organic fraternization license, I'm going to make his life a living hell. Cool. Believe in yourself. Let's check that out. Come on, elevator, let's go. Serena, I'm coming, my love. This is more like it. And here we go. To the mouth. How did he do that? Eight machine, the offices are off. Right. Up we go! Can't jump in an elevator. Let's do this into the Marif's office. Warning. 
trespassing on government property will result in your immediate death. Thank you. Said you're a dad. Said time. I traced the signal that took down our systems on Helios. And guess what? It came from here. Your office. Signal? Signal. She might be doing it. Where did she come from? And please, lie to me. I really want you to lie to me. I don't know. What are you going to do with me? <laughs> Nothing. I was just messing with you. Get the hell out of here. I've been thinking there's a way back to Helios. I surrender. I was going to let you live, you dumb bastard. What is wrong with you? Oh, that was... Okay, yeah. Where was I? All right, my awesome master plan. Taking the fight to Helios is gonna need an army, so we make one. Head down to Springs, I'll explain on the way. I'm gonna stay here, gonna go through the Marif stuff. We're making a freaking robot army, baby. Hell yeah. Shopping list simple. Some serious combat chassis and top of the line military AI to run them. Word is, Springs is a lady for the AI. Hey, Mox, you know where I can build me some kick-ass robot bodies? Since that giant laser is going to kill, well, everyone, I know who might be willing to scout around for hardware. Let me talk to them and get back to you. Sounds good. Let's hustle, people. We got a moon to save. What did you think of Jack when you first met him, Will? Considering he was the guy Moxie left you for, I didn't like him. You don't... Need to stop interrupting people when they're talking. That laser just keeps on coming. I wonder if I can use this or if it's disabled. Maybe I have to drop a weapon onto it. That's some quality work right there. Damn. I need a haircut. How are you going? I Moxie said you're after some military AI. Big saws. But your best bet's a mate of mine, a little ankle biter by the name of Pickle, lives in the Outlands. He's almost impossible to reach mine, but I can help with that. Take this scrambler. Now then, I'll upload coordinates of an old Dahl garage to your Echo. Get going, I'll explain on the way. This is deadlift. See deadlift lift. See deadlift who lifts become dead. See how happy this makes Janie? Very happy. Hmm. 
idle hands, I got some work for you. Yeah, I think G'day. this is the one. My grinder, Bessie, finally died and I need to scrounge up a couple of spare parts. Grinder parts don't grow on trees, but luckily I've got wind of two scab grinders you can uh, investigate. Don't worry, they're both stolen, so it's not like you'll be robbing honest folk. The first one's on the back of a buggy. I'm sending the coordinates to your Echo. Let's go shopping. Ooh. Grinders are brilliant machines. Based on some data tech that it came my way a while back, they take random pieces of tech you don't want and recombine them into useful gear. Weapons, shields, whatever floats your boat. That's what I want. I want the working grinder. Warning, no atmosphere detected. Deploy. Teleport. It's easy to get to Pickle's place on foot, but I can help you out with... Ready for it? A stingray. It's old dial tech. They're not much to look at, but Moxie tinkered with the design, so now they jump like a skag in heat. Problem is, stingrays aren't easy to get to meat hunts on. So happens that Scrambler, uh, came my way. It's supposed to unlock digestructing at the old Dahl garage I'm sending you to. Once you unlock a Stingray there, I'll fix it so all Moon Zoomies are Stingrayed up. Search the debris and find me the unassembler linkage. Should be one. They're super tough bits of kit. Here is toast. No worries. There's still that second grinder. It's in a abandoned camp set up in an old train station. It's run by some feral scavs called the Boosters. If you like, you can go over there, explain I need some spare parts. They'll be all, oh, sure thing. Help yourself, mate. Ha! All right. I'm updating your echo now. Go kill those crook sons of taints. How do I get to this second place? Over this way? Yes. Here, take a right. another one. Oh, I'm just going up here apparently.
booster pad. Yeah, buddy. This is where the magic is. Stanton's liver. We will be victorious. Uh, you know, I've realized this video is 50 minutes in. I'm going to uh, pause it real quick. Be right back with you.